Curious Reckon is a video play with Omar City cooking with Timmy, working like a weapon, 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 by Timmy's uh, ticket. Like, the link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out. So, let's into this, this vaccine in 3, 2, 1. I can't take myself seriously. Oh, it's stuck. Ooh, there's a mark. Yes, it's true. I am making a cooking video. I have not made one in literally years. It's time, guys. I have let people like Giada De Laurentiis and Ina Garden have too much of the spotlight. It's my turn again, and I'm back. So today, I am making a Frito pie. And you might be thinking, Timmy, is that a pie made out of Fritos? That sounds disgusting. <laughs> it's not. It is basically a delicious concoction of Fritos with chili and delicious toppings. And when I tell you it's like one of the best things you'll ever eat in your life, I'm not lying. I was raised in New Mexico for like nine years and I grew up eating Frito pies, like authentic ones. This one might not be as authentic, but it's still fantastic, and that's because of the chili. My chili recipe, I don't wanna toot my own horn because it's not really mine, <laughs> but it's the best. So I got this recipe from a website called thespruceeats.com years ago, um, but I have made it so many times and I've really adjusted it and just kind of changed it a lot. But the base recipe is from the spruce seeds. It's called Spicy Ground Beef and Pinto Bean Chili by Diana Rattray. Um, I will link it down below. Mine is a bit spicier, a bit more tomato-y and a bit less beefy, um, but it's, it's so good, guys. So I'm gonna make this chili from scratch. You're gonna see my whole process. The ingredients are, of course, Fritos. Um, now for the actual chili, we have ground beef. I use lean ground beef because I do not like a greasy chili. It's the very lean kind from Publix. We have a poblano pepper. I love poblanos because they, they aren't spicy, but they add such a nice flavor. And then for the spicy kick, we have jalapenos. I'm not taking out the seeds or anything because I love my chili spicy. We have some garlic, fresh garlic, and a huge onion. <laughs> this is the mother of all onions. Mama, wow. is that you? And then we have beef broth. We have pinto beans. Yes, pinto beans are the best beans in chili. Mark my words. And then we have some diced tomatoes and some tomato sauce. And then for the seasonings, of course, we have salt and pepper if you want it. I don't care about pepper that much because I'm like, we have chili powder, all those things. So we have dark chili powder. I'm gonna use a lot of this, like a lot, guys. This is gonna have a lot of flavor. We have cumin, or is it cumin? I'm not sure, I think it's cumin, cumin. Cumin, Cuban, me? Half Cuban. <laughs> and then we have bay leaves. And then cayenne pepper, just a little bit. It's almost gone because I use it a lot. I love cayenne. And then um, oregano, and I think that's it. And then for um, the toppings, we are doing cheese. I am adding some green onions because I love me some green onion garnish moments, you know? So let's start cooking. But first guys, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone that gave me super thanks in my last video. I am once again so grateful, like your support truly helps this channel so much because I don't like get like the best views. I'm not a big YouTuber, at least view wise. So this truly helps. Um, I just wanna thank Erica Strada, Johanna Prescott, Kama Nama, Christy, Eric Brown, Katrin Losh again, Laura Fernandez, Diane uh, Gimello, and Jackie Lee again. Thank you guys so much, I'm so grateful. Also guys, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests and hopefully more cooking videos. If you guys like this, please let me know and I'll make more, okay? Yeah, drop a like. Yeah, drop a like. If we, if we want him to make more cooking videos, drop a like. And I like chili in my food, food. So yeah, pizza pie, ten of ten. Yes. Comment down below if you like pizza pie. Comment down below. Give it a thumbs up or something. It is time to yeah. start the process. So first things first, I'm gonna chop up my clean vegetables. Um, let's do the poblano first. She's a tame one. 
So this is how I chop things. It might not be correct. Do not do what I'm doing. I'm not a professional. I am just a housewife queen, you know? I like to get off every little bit, so I just like cut around this thingy, the stem. Honestly, it looks more like a Grinch nip. I just imagine his nip just like curling like his mountain and his hair. It's just iconic. Now for this one, I'm gonna take out the seeds just cause I don't think they have that much heat and I just don't want too many seeds in my chili. So there's that, that's gone. Let's chop it. The pieces aren't gonna be perfect. It's all gonna cook down for like a long time. So it's just gonna blend together. I'm like, whatever about yeah. it. Honestly, look at this. Look at this pro go. I'm not a pro, but I seem like I am. I'm like, let's be real. <laughs> I dropped yeah. a piece. I have dogs. Okay, here. I found it. Okay, the poblano is all chopped up. And yes, I do have baby plates. <laughs> they were cheap on Amazon and I use them for everything. Okay, let's do the garlic. So typically I just buy that like pre minced garlic, like in the oil. And I just used that. But today I was like, I am, I'm filming this. I have to be fancy. So I got a whole garlic clove. Wait, a clove is just the little thing by itself. What is this then? A family of cloves? Ah! Oh dear God. So the recipe says to do two cloves of garlic, but I love garlic. So I'm gonna do like four probably. Oh God. I'm really struggling to take these skins off guys. It's yeah. taking a long time. I'm just editing it so that you guys don't have to sit through it. Isn't that nice of me? So now this is the funnest part. I have a garlic press which I'm obsessed with. It's life changing. Garlic is just so hard to chop up. It's just so tiny. So this is just so much easier. It gets you that perfect garlic mince every time. Okay, see that? It just came right out, squeezed out like a pimple. Oh yeah. Like a pimple. Scrape that off. I'm gonna smell like garlic for days. I love that one. So next up, the giant onion. <laughs> it's so huge. Now we're just gonna cut it in half. And now what I like to do is just do this. I do little slices this way. Don't do what I'm doing. It might not be the right way. It's just how I do it. Okay. And then bam, little onions. Now this part gets scary because it's at the end and it's kind of wobbly. Okay. Just like, yeah, okay. Yeah, just bend over. Thank you. Be noble. <laughs> Scary. By the way, if you have dogs, make sure that no onions fall. Onions are very bad for dogs, as well as grapes. Oh, really? And of wow. course, chocolate I didn't know that. and raisins, which are grapes, just old. <laughs> Not old, but just like elderly, you know? Nursing home grapes. Like the fact this was one onion <laughs> is actually grapes. crazy Yee. to me. Get in there. Ah! The counter's clean, don't worry. Okay, they're in. So now last but not least, we have the jalapenos, the spicy queen. So like I said, you can take the seeds and the rib things out if you want to, because it does make it like decently spicy. Um, but I just adore spicy jalapeno vibes. I'm just cutting them into strips. Oh, I'm trying not to touch the seeds to my hands because I have a little bit of eczema, just a little bit and my hands get cracked. And when this um, jalapeno juice gets into those cracks, it's like, dear God. And it literally stings for like three days. I'm not joking. Wow, three seed. days? Oh, wow. Yes. So now I'm just gonna chop this into little chunks. I'm just gonna run my knife through it super quick just to make them a little smaller. Okay, we are finally done chopping. So I'm gonna add the jalapenos and the poblanos to the pot as well as the onions which are already in there. And the poblanos. Okay, so now it's time to actually cook. Okay, so I'm gonna add some oil to my peppers and onions, and I'm just gonna let it all get hot. And Sizzly, can you see me? Hi, this is cute. So I'm gonna let them get all nice and sizzly and kind of like see through, you know? Mix them all together. Oh, that sound. The sizzle is happening. Okay, so these are looking gorgeous, kind of see-through. So I'm going to add my garlic right into there. And my cumin, about one tablespoon. I think, is that good? I guess. Get that all mixed up. Ooh, the smells, the odors, it smells great. Oh, it's getting in my eyes. Okay, Ugh. I already have dry eye, I can't handle this. Now I'm gonna add the chili powder. Now the recipe calls for five tablespoons, which is a lot. I'm gonna add probably like six, <laughs> cause I like a lot of chili powder. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, I guess. Okay, I'm just eyeballing it. Get that all mixed in. Ooh, that color is so nice and deep and rich. I love it. And now I'm gonna add my ground beef. Okay, so oh, I'm you, using yeah. 1.7 pounds. The recipe calls for three no, pounds, so it's not nearly as much, but I just yeah. well, prefer it like this. Yeah. Okay. Plop. There goes the cow. Uh, so dog just get the that cow. off. Nah. Incorporated. And now I'm going to add my oregano, which adds such a nice little depth of flavor moment um the recipe calls for one teaspoon i'm adding probably like a tablespoon because i love it and i'm gonna add my salt um the recipe calls for a half a teaspoon i add a bit more because i think that it needs it maybe even more than that later probably because it will probably need it i um, i'm gonna be adding some beef broth though and all that stuff so that could affect the salt so definitely not adding too much yet and I'm just gonna stir this until the beef is fully browned and cooked. Okay, so now it's time to add my diced tomatoes. Now, the recipe calls for, um, I think, 14 ounces. I got double that, 28 ounces. I just like things more tomato-y and a bit acidic. So I'm adding the whole can. There we go. And I'm gonna add some beef broth. I'm just gonna eyeball it. That's good. Um, the beef broth with the tomato almost adds like a wine-ish type of taste to it. And it just tastes mm. fancy and phenomenal. I'm also going to add some cayenne pepper. I love cayenne pepper. Some extra spice too. And some bay leaves. I'm just going to take them out before it's done, obviously. We don't want to be chewing on leaves. We're not horses here. I'm going to add, <laughs> I think, four. I just love the flavor of a bay leaf that mixed in i think it might need a bit more broth it looks a little too thick right now because a lot of this is going to cook off it is smelling literally incredible and i'm gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce because i just like that really tomatoey flavor like i said i think that's good and last but not least i'm adding the pinto beans the recipe says to add them like way later but i'm just adding them now because i just don't care I don't care. And just a smidge more beef broth. <laughs> See, it's all kind of like eyeballing it. This is cooking, guys. This is this is authentic, real life cooking. You add things that you want to add. You don't add things you don't want to add. It's life. You have choices. Make them. Make make them. <laughs> Starting to bubble. The simmering is about to happen. Do you see her right there? She's saying, "I'm first, girlies. I'm the first one bubbling." Oh, there's another and another there and one there as well. We have a whole squad. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn the heat to low and slightly cover it. I have this giant lid that does not fit, but it's perfect because it has to be slightly covered. So there's that. And I'm just gonna cook this for almost two hours, guys. Literally almost two hours. Do you hear me? I know that's a long time, but the flavors really come together. I just have to be patient for my zinner. I will be um, like checking on it and stirring it and tasting it and then just like adding salt if it needs it, more chili powder, more spice. We're just gonna go with it and I'll see you in two hours. Okay guys, the chili is done. I tasted it, it's incredible. Like one of my best ever. I did that guys. Yes, look at that. Oh, let's make the pie guys. So I have a gorgeous bowl here from Tarjay. I'm gonna add some Fritos on the bottom. <laughs> Wait, cook, cook, a little more. Cook it. Oh, nah. I think that's too much. Okay, that's good. Swish it around. Let's add the chili right on top. It's going to be iconic. And then we add some shredded cheese. I'm using some sharp cheddar right onto that. I'll get all melty. A little more just for happiness. And some green onions on top. A little garnish. Make it pretty. <laughs> I feel so fancy. <laughs> Honestly, I do. Hmm. Okay, it's done, guys. That is my Frito pie. Oh my goodness. Oh, thumbnail, thumbnail. Go eat. Okay, it's time to eat it. I'm so ready. This took hours and hours, but it's gonna be worth it, guys. You do look good. 
Oh my God. It tastes like my memories. The Fritos got kind of cakey. They soaked the chili juices and seasonings and that sounds kind of gross, but it works so well. It's just one of the best things on this planet. It's a little bit spicy. It could be more spicy, but other than that, it's perfection. Incredible. <clears throat> well, guys, thank you so much for watching my cooking video. Let me know in the comments below, have you had a Frito pie? If you have, what are your thoughts? Yeah, did I it did. slay you? And let me know what else you want to see me cook. Yo, it was so much fun. Thank yeah. you so much for watching. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Oh, boo, boo. Um. Thank you for watching, Queen. I'm so grateful that you. <laughs> that was Frito Pie with all my silly cooking with Timmy. By Timmy Second. The link to the video will be the description below. Go and say, 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 come on. You drop a like if you like. You comment down below if you want to see more reactions like this one. And subscribe if you're new and click the post to be notified when I upload. You know what? Bye.